Before that we start, I, can, I want to say one thing. Only my thought is with uh, Tito Villanova, and uh, I hope that uh, Tito you came back uh, soon uh, in the bench. Can we start with a familiar topic, Mario Balotelli? Um, no, Mario is very, is very unlucky. He's, he's ill this week, all the week. Were you, were you surprised, though, that he decided to stop his action against Manchester City in respect of you? But this is a, is a old... Uh, old situation, I think that is normal when uh, someone uh, do a mistake, uh, he should take his, uh, his responsibility and Mario did this, it's a normal. But what he said was he did it to respect you, so he also no, me. In, first of all he to respect himself, not me, because uh, it's important for him to respect for uh, himself. This. It's very important. You've given him chance upon chance upon chance, but everyone else has said no. Do you continue giving him chances? Uh, sure. I am his manager, like uh, he's uh, like the other players. If he deserves to have other chance, I give him uh, other chance. So he, ha he has a future. But in, now he need to to deserve this. Yeah. Is it a similar situation to Colo Touré and Carlos Tevez, who are a part of your squad who have had problems in the past? Is it is it similar no. to that? Colo never. No, but he had, he had his ban. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, Colo is a, another player that is a part of our team and he played very well against Newcastle, he played very well against uh, Man Manchester United. If one player works well uh, and he deserves to have a chance to play, why I can't give? But Mario has no chance this weekend because of... Mario, <laughs> this weekend, <laughs> unfortunately, is ill. It's one week. Uh, it, it came this morning, but uh, it can't do nothing. You've been here three years. It's your third anniversary now. Uh, have you achieved more or less than you thought you would when you sat there for the first time? No, I think that uh, we work uh, really well, I think, because uh, when I arrived here three years ago, I didn't think that maybe in two years we can we could win uh, a Premier League, FA Cup, a charity shield. I I thought that maybe we need uh, four or five years to win uh, a Premier League because this is not uh, it's not easy to change this in England and in Manchester in particular because uh, in Manchester for I don't know 20, 30 years uh, Manchester United won everything and. We changed this, this situation, I think that we, we did well. This is not want to say that we did an, a mistake, because we did also some mistake. This is a normal when, when we work, uh, maybe this is, uh, can happen. And we need, uh, we need to continue to work harder to improve uh, our job. How, how pleased were you with your reaction from the players at Newcastle after the derby? I think that was really important because it was a, a really tough game because in Newcastle usually it's difficult. And, uh, but I think that after our performance against United, I was sure that we, we, we play a good game against Newcastle. After, I didn't know if we could win or not. But uh, I think that uh, we played very well. Is it making a difference that you don't have a game in midweek, that you're having a whole week to work with the squad? Does that mean? No, no, because we play every three days. <laughs> no, but, but going into the game against Newcastle and perhaps going into the game against Reading, has it helped? But it's clear that you can work uh, well with the team. This is normal. When Injury. you have a time to work, it's better. Injury-wise, what, what are you looking at? No, we recover James, uh, probably Vinny. Uh, we don't have uh, Samir and Colaro. Is but Samir out for Christmas? Uh, I mean, for Christmas, yes. So till, but I think January, that maybe? no, no, no. I think that uh, we hope that uh, we can be ready. Maybe not to play all the games, but uh, maybe in the bench, uh, Norwich. I hope Norwich. For Stoke, I think that we will be ready.
And you look at these five games as five games you can get maximum points from. It's, it's not, on paper, it doesn't look like a difficult Christmas. <laughs> we try, we try. But when you play every three days, no, uh, it's very difficult, not only for us, but for all the team. But we have four games in, in ten days, uh, we need to do a maximum. The final point, the, the FA are bringing in anti-racism rules. They're also talking about re-educating foreign coaches. Would you have benefited from that when you came to this country, or is it just coaching in a different country and it's football? No, I don't think it is, because I think that... Uh, here, I think that uh, the behavior usually is good from uh, everyone. It's impossible to be perfect. Neither FA is perfect. Uh, it's impossible. Sometimes we can do some mistakes. It's important that we understand and we improve this. Just in terms of your striker, just as you're getting towards the, the halfway point, do you know now who your best ones are, or do you always have to rotate because they're all playing well, or how, how does that exactly work for you? No, when, when you play every three, three days, uh, it's impossible to play with the same player, and we need to rotate. When you, we play one game for a week, maybe it could be normal to play with the same, the same team, but uh, you know, there are some moments that uh, we have one our striker in good form, and another striker maybe is not in good form. Depends uh, on the week. If the player works well, if there is some players that can't work well because he's ill, because he's injured, because for other reason, uh, and we have another striker that works better, uh, and he deserves to play, play. So when you get into the new year, when you don't have the midweek fixtures, would might it be? who is playing best will stay in yeah. rather than that rotation. Yeah. Does that make your life easier or does it make their life harder? No, I don't think that will be easy. Because uh, for me, our four strikers uh, are uh, all uh, top strikers. And uh, also if I, I read, because I didn't remember this, that with uh, Tevez uh, and Sergio we won, I think that uh, last year we won with all strikers because <laughs> we won a lot of games. Can I just double check as well? Vincent, did you say, has a chance? Or he's, yeah, he's, yeah, he has, yeah, a, has chance. a chance. Yeah. And James as well, is he yes. back in full yeah. and he has a chance of playing yeah. as well? Right, thank you. Roberto, Christmas means entering the second half of the season. How would you assess your side's performance over the course of the season so far? I think that we, we had some problem with the for first reason was because we didn't have uh, all the players in pre-season, we, we didn't work. This is a big problem when we can't, do, we can't work with all players in pre-season. Uh, because we had some players, eight, seven, eight players that uh, arrived uh, one week before uh, Charity Shield. Uh, they didn't do a, a pre-season. We had uh, more injuries this year. Our mistake, uh, but with all this problem to be there, I think that uh, is a is a good position. Now, with some of your rivals, particularly United, having Champions League involvement in the new year, and particularly with the draw and how excited everyone is, is that a positive for you now? Do you think that you will be maybe under the radar a little bit? I think that is normal. No? We, we, we can work uh, we can work better. Uh, but uh, at the same time I think that uh, we need we need to do more than last year. On the, the first six months we need to work uh, better. And do you want individuals to work better? It is individuals uh, like a group. Can I just ask you one about Reading? Um, history suggests that a team with the number of points that they've got at this time of year will be relegated. Have they got a chance of staying up, do you think? I don't know. I, I am not trust uh, about this game because uh, when we think that uh, we play with against uh, a 
team like Reading in this moment that did only 10 points, uh, probably, like you said, could be relegated in, in the end of the season. But uh, for me, it uh, will be a difficult game because uh, I watch a game that they play against uh, Everton, they beat Everton, and also against United when they lose 4-3. Uh, but uh, in front, they are very strong. Maybe they consider more goals, but uh, I think that we need to play like against Newcastle if we want to win this game.